Yes, guys, it's Empress G again. And I'm cooking my supper. And guess what, folks? I haven't done this in a long, long time. And I just, I always cook what I feel like eating. <clears throat> you know, it just come to me and I feel like eating that. So when I was growing up um, back home in St. Thomas, Jamaica, I, you know, I grew up partially with my grandparents. And my grandma, one of her favorite dish was cook up saltfish with chocho and you know for people in other island that don't know what chocho is chocho they they, call, they know it but it's called a different name christophine okay and basically my grandmother when she'd make that day she would have dumpling but her dumpling because she was so ill conscious would make with green banana so she would grate the green banana i started it and mix it with some flour and some caramel and folks that's just what i feel like my grandma just came to me uh, because she, you know, they they're always with us, you know, or, or folks, they're always with us. So, folks, right now the water is boiling, and I'm gonna show you what um Christophine looks like, what Chocho look like, because what I do, all oh, my grandmother do it. She don't cook up everything she get. She peel her um the Chocho and boil it just just to a point. You don't boil it till it mash it till it gets soft, soft. Otherwise, it don't. It's just, you know, not too nice. Anyway, right now, um, I'll show you quickly what, um, okay, this is what a chocho -cho is, Christophine for some folks, and this is it right now. So right now I'm going to put it in the boiling water and slice it up and boil it. This is what it looks like. Okay, I have two here. All I had to the water is just a little salt. Um, so because I'm going to put um, in that, after that, my banana and my, my, my banana dumpling and a cup of banana and maybe a piece of yellow yam. Um, or sweet potato um not gonna do a lot because i don't have anybody here today and i don't like to eat food <laughs> you know after one day that's it right you know because when i was growing up every day my grandmother cook um you know before we got fridge and even when we got fridge no it's just fresh stuff so anyway i'm gonna slice it up and let it um just be you know cook because i like everything crunchy and um so i just give it a few minutes in there and take it out put it aside and i have everything um see my saltfish is here and i love salt you say so much saltfish i got mm. my tomato and all my vegetables you know i like to cook with a lot of vegetable a lot of sweet peppers a lot of onion and in this recipe my grandmother dice up um some turmeric some people call it um saffron i was surprised to when I was watching a Trinidad and dish yesterday and Grenada and dish they call it saffron so I know saffron is something different but um, they do call um, turmeric saffron and this is what the fresh one here looks like so I cut off a few pieces and a few pieces of ginger because in all my grandma cooking and that's what I learned there always was turmeric and ginger no matter what dish always turmeric and ginger so I'm just cutting up this the chocho are for Jamaican and for um, other island Christophine and I'm just going to let them, um, you know, not even five minutes good because I want them crunchy. Because I'm just doing this for myself. I'll leave some, uh, you know, my friend come over tomorrow, they can get the rest. But right now it's for us what I sat down and I wasn't going to cook anything. And that's what come to me. I just feel like, because I'm not a big dumpling person. And when you see, if I do it, I do it with banana or cassava. So that's the um, chocho going to be um, boiling for... A few minutes then I'll just take it out and put it and strain it put it aside and, and let it rest and um right now folks I'm, I'm grating um the banana I started it so this is what it looks like here I'm grating the green banana okay I am gonna do I do about three seeds um, or so I did two already I'm just doing this one to show you and then I'm gonna be adding the flour a little bit of salt and Sometimes, you know, my grandmother do it without cornmeal, but I love cornmeal in my flour. So, this is going to be a banana dumpling with cornmeal. So, this is about four seeds of banana here. And like I said, I always cook and somebody always come by. So, um, I'm not going to do too much though because like I said, I... Okay, so this is the banana really here. And I don't do it in a blender or anything. I grate it. I grate it because um, I don't want to get it... I think the food processor would be the closest thing to the grater, but I like to um, do things, you know, exercise my hands and stuff. And that's how we grow up. When we grow up, we didn't have any food. Well, 
We had blender when I was growing up, I think, yeah. But my grandma did everything the Ann way, and that's how she lived to be a long time, long, long time. Okay, so that's the, um, I just put it on a towel so this don't move away when I started um, kneading the flour. I hate kneading flour, but this time, guys, I just gotta do it, you know, so, because I want some banana dumpling. So I have my thing here ready to scoop them out because like I said, I do not want them to get too soggy because that is the worst thing for you um chocho uh yeah okay so right now that's the banana right there that's three seeds so i'm just gonna add some flour and this is all purpose flour i'm not me uh, measuring anything folks um you know i'm just had some flour to it and you know me and a little bit of cornmeal i'm gonna also add to it like folks, my thing is I love anything with saltfish and soup and porridge. Yeah. I'm adding a bit of cornmeal, not a lot. And like I say, folks, this is not being measured. I'm just, um, yeah, for my life. And if you, you know, when you do things sometimes, because we grow up here, they're not, no, not measuring anything, and those people could cook stuff for size. So it's just to the amount you want. And, um, to what consistency in any in any meal I see okay um I will add a little bit of salt not a lot of salt I don't cook with a lot of salt because I have my salt fish there and even when I put in my food I don't put any salt there but just a little bit I'm just gonna try and see if I'm um, the because remember they're gonna be going back inside the salt fish when the salt fish is cooking you know so um I'll give it another about a minute or two more and then I take it out. Before I start getting my dirty, I'm just gonna wait and take it out. Because when you do flour, it's a messy thing. So I'll give it a few more minutes. And because when I had it cooking up with the salt fish and everything, it's gonna be you know cooking again also. So basically that's it. Yeah. So early on I was talking about my birthday and April, you know, and Aries folks, you know, we are very generous, we're very good hearted, and we like to help, and we're very giving. But one thing, don't screw us over. Because once you do that, it's game over, you know. A lot of times people take people, especially Aries, and I know myself for a fool. I want to get to realize that no, you can't pass any. I do things for people because I want to, and it's good, out of the goodness of my heart. But one thing you don't do, don't screw me over. You know, otherwise I'm done with you, done. And this is Aries. We're very good-hearted. We're very um, loving, and we're giving. We're very giving, and we're ready to help our fellow man. You know, but don't screw us over. And that's my little talk on Aries there. Yeah. I've been. Yeah, because people can be so damn vicious, you know, when you try to help them. Anyway, this is going to be all positive, folks. All positive. Okay. So look how green and pretty it is. You see? It's probably still crunchy. That's how you cook your Christophine. Right now, I'm going to put my green banana in. And I, you know, and I'm going to put a little sweet potato. I peel the banana already. And I'm going to peel my sweet potato. And so it's going to be green banana, sweet potato. And this is just going to be a little one. I have bigger ones, but I'm just cooking a little one. Because like I said, I don't like to waste things. And it's no sense cooking a lot of stuff and then you to the garbage. And I don't mind heat stuff the next day. So if it's some left over, I have it tomorrow and that's it. But... No cold food way down the aisle, way, way down. No, not me. So if any leftover tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I'll have it. And I know one of my relatives are going to pop by. So <laughs> even today, you know, so that's why I put three bananas. Normally, I would just put two for myself. Yeah, I love bananas. I love bananas. Anyway, so this is the potato here. I'm putting in one sweet potato. I'm not going to cut it. So right now, I'm going to wash my hands. And folks, one of the things when you're doing... um. 
making flour. What are you making it for yourself or uh, make sure your hands are clean, your nails are all clean. And I've seen people dealing flour with long, long nail and half around me. No, thank you. <laughs> you, you, nail, you should have short nails, very clean. And even if you're doing it for yourself, because if any, um, if you're doing it for yourself and any bacteria get into your nails and get into the food, you're going to get sick also. So you know what? Be, clean, be nice and clean. Wash your hands. Especially when you're making flour. Wash your hands. So I'm just going to need the flour right now. The salt fish, what I did, I put it to soak for a bit and I boiled it a couple times with and um, soak, I soaked it with some lemon to take out the rawness. You know, I always do that. And when I finish, when I'm cooking, I just add a little balsamic vinegar to it or, or white vinegar or um, salt for the noise. But, you know, but always put some um, lemon or lime in any kind of fish you do to take out the rawness out of it. In, in Grenada, they call it fresh. <laughs> if the food, if the meat, fish, if the food is raw, they said fresh. That's their term for rawness. We said raw, they said fresh. Why this are food, this are meat they're so fresh, sir. So, so that's what I'm telling on all the islands. We do the same thing and say on the same stuff, but we just call them different names. So in Grenada, when they tell you that the food, that the meat is raw, is they tell you say it's fresh. Okay, I'm wash my hands and I'm just gonna dry my hand. And I always have sharp fingernail, folks, because um, always keep it short. So, folks, I put some flour in there already, and I'm just gonna, um, as I go along, you know, um, see what the consistency is. If it's too, too wet, and I, I'm just gonna take some water for my kettle. It's cold filtered clean water so you mix up everything with a banana no this need more flour right now for sure and this is all you know see you mix up everything with a banana add a little bit more flour yeah it's okay the banana has um moisture in it right so so you just mix up the banana with the flour i'll turn this down a bit I was gonna put the fan on, but it's gonna make too much noise. So this is what we do right now, folks. Mix up everything. Mix up the banana, the grated banana with the flour. And I, I had a little bit of cornmeal and a, just a tip of salt. And one thing is the flour stuff gets... So you don't have to add a lot of water, um, you know, to this because the banana is so moist. So, and if it get too moist, you just add a little bit more flour. But this dumpling is so good. Only time I heat flour is just like this. Either I feel like a nice caramel dumpling or ban and you can use plantain also, folks. This is green banana. You could also use green plantain. Okay. I have to add more flour, folks. I'm hit some. banana have a lot of moisture and I just created three bananas so. that's why I put it on a towel so um we'll hold it steady and I just had a little bit more water yeah it's coming along and usually I would need my flow and leave it for at least five 10 minutes just let it um, rest but that's okay and you gotta need the flour so I get to put more flour in it oh. see the banana have so much moisture in it so you have to make sure when you do it you make sure you have flour you know flour side to keep adding you know so I'm just basically trying to knead it out right now And when you're doing boiled dumpling, you want your dumpling to be to knead very tight. You don't want a soft dumpling, otherwise when you eat it, it make you feel bad. So you gotta really knead it. See, I just wanna use one hand because it's so messy. Still I'm ready to make them, you know. 
So I'm just, it's just the kneading process right now. Just kneading it up. Get it firm and nice. And in a way, it's good for your arm. You know, you get good exercise right there. So it comes together now. So I'm just kneading it now. I think that's enough flour. Flour is all over me. So I'm just kneading it up now, guy. Folks, just kneading it. Okay. And I have to use the other hand right now to get rid of all the flour of the other hand. Because flour is a messy thing. Green flour. Okay. So I'm just going to knead it up a bit more. You got to really knead it. Really, really knead it. Yeah. I added a little bit more. Just a little bit more. To our... Um, Anytime I do something with saltfish, I always get a good, re good response to it. I did a saltfish sauce, and that was one of my best videos. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong with saltfish. Um, this is codfish, though. This is the real thing. This is codfish. It's more expensive, but um, yeah, this is codfish. Oh, folks, you gotta really need this thing. Never wear long sleeve when you're going to need flour. Oh, that's it, folks. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. I am just going to wash off this flour off my hand and just make it. See, that's why I say that's when I feel like things like this once in a while. Because <laughs> I hate needing flour. And I don't eat a lot of flour, so this is the only way I eat it. Something has to be in it. Just washing my hands first, washing up all this. So if I need, I try to make it with all this flour on my hand. It's not, not they're not gonna look too good. You need a clean, smooth hand for that. And you know what, in about, what, 10, 15 minutes, they're pretty, doesn't take a long, long time to cook, so, okay folks, so basically this is it, so I just, depend on what size you want them, so, just roll it up like this, I'm not an expert, you know, and, and then I just, I think my grandmother is, yeah, I'm not an expert in making them, so, <laughs> don't laugh, you know, Okay, that's one. My grandmother was awesome at doing it. She roll it up like this, then she'll go. You know? That's two. And then she'll just. I am not looking for perfectionary folks. I know a lot of people are like so good at doing stuff like this, you know. So this one I'm just gonna max out to see how much I can get from this one. Same size. Okay, this is about I 
and one more to go then you stir it because you know what they'll easily stick in the bottom of the pot so once you put everything in you just give it a quick stir let me just wash my hands again I did put a little bit of salt when I put the um, chocho in, so that's going to be it. I don't cook with a lot of salt. A lot of salt is not good for us, but we, we need salt, but not an awful lot, you know? Okay. So I'm just going to stir it all up, you know, so the dumplings don't stick together. And just um, let it cook. And in the meantime, I'm just going to start my um, cooking the, the, the salt fish. So I'm going to squish the pot because um, you're not going to be able to see. So I'm going to... So this is going to be just cooking, okay? Ouch! So I'm just going to put that pot over there. The dumpling pot I'm going to do in the sausage because I have masters. Um, the, um, if I had somebody here um, doing the camera, that would be fine. So this now I'm going to be doing the, um, the salt fish. So here we go. And... As you know, folks, I love, I go straight far for my coconut milk, a coconut oil. And if it's not coconut oil, then it would be um, olive oil, pure virgin olive oil. But for a dish like this, you want your coconut oil. So everything is all cut up and ready to go. So the dumplings are cooking and the banana. So by the time I finish cooking up all of this, what do you say? And folks, you know what? I give you some idea, some suggestion. You see, when you open your flour and your cornmeal, if you want them to remain fresh, keep them in the fridge. Um, your flour, your cornmeal, and your baking powder. Uh, once you open it, keep them in the fridge. I guarantee you when you're ready to use it, any of them, they're going to be as fresh as fresh gets, you know? But just keep them in the fridge, folks. And today I have my avocado ready, you know, so I'm good. Yeah, I have my avocado here ready to go. So folks, as usual, when I'm doing any kind of dish, I don't use, use a lot of powder um, stuff. So all I'll be using is, um, right now cut up here is um, cilantro and um, fresh um, parsley, okay? And I use a little bit um some of my dry um oregano and basil and those are one that I actually bought and wash and dry and do it myself. So all my herbs and stuff I don't mind for myself. So so basically and this is the only gallo and this is a fresh seasoning um with herbs in it. It uh, it has some you know a little bit of dry stuff in it, but um it's relatively fresh. So for this dish, the salt fish is here. My tomato is all skin and all no seed. I don't use seed in my sawfish. Uh, my, and I have bell peppers here, yellow and green peppers. And here I have my purple onion, turmeric, some, oh, better take the pot cover. And green onions and garlic, so everything is here. And as I said, this is the only season I have my cracked black pepper here ready. So the only thing I'm going to add to that is just a little bit of oregano and uh, basil. And a bit of my... I'm going to be using two pepper today. Um, because if you know how they say, the green one is for flavor and this one is for eat. So I'm going to be using a little bit of both in it today. So right now, just get the pot your hot and get it going. Um, I might use a little bit of um, chili because chili is so good for you. Chili pepper is so good for you. But yeah, I'm, I'm, right now I'm just dealing with my scotch bonnet, bonnet you know. Okay, so I'm going to put in um, the coconut oil. And this is, as you know, Grace coconut oil from back home. And right now it's just um, because it's winter, so it just get cold. It just get um, like it just freezes up. Um, so I might even have to... Um, 
my banana my pot here is boiling over because you know what because of the flour and the banana in there so um, I have to adjust the heat so um yeah because it's winter now and the coconut oil is see it's what's the word for that you know see it's all uh, you know you know I don't want to cook with a lot of a lot of oil it's just enough to do my stuff you know okay so I'm gonna start putting in my stuff right now oh I better take the pot cover off ouch so folks I'm gonna lower the heat a bit and then I'm gonna add um I have the time here I leave the I like to um get off the pigs like that you know that's where the yeah Let's get off the, some of them anyway, like that. So, okay, I'm going to start adding in um, the onions. And a little bit of ginger with that. Green onion. Then, in a bit, I'll add in the garlic. Because garlic burns pretty easily, so it should always go in. Not right away. So add in the um, thyme. Now I can add in the garlic and the parsley and cilantro. But if you, uh, folks, you wouldn't want to smell it. Smells. So good, the garlic and, and the onion. Add in the bell pepper, the yellow and green. And okay. parsley is there already, so I'm just gonna add a little um basil and all of this I made myself fresh 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 and have some oregano and that's basically the eat right there oh I have to add some cilantro and the cilantro is frozen because um when I buy it a cilantro um go bad pretty fast so I always wash it and just cut it and put it in the freezer. Yeah, the, the parsley lasts a long, a lot longer than um, the cilantro, and it still keeps fresh, you know. So I'm just gonna add in a bit. There you go. That's the cilantro, and that is green but frozen because I don't want to leave it outside so it just totally go bad. Because you know what, these herbs are very expensive. In the summertime, you can grow your own. That's a different thing. So right now, I'm gonna have the tomato now, okay? And I cook with a lot of tomato sauce. So if you're a person who have a um, problem with your stomach with tomato, no, I cook with a lot of tomato. Love tomato. Tomato gives us so much flavor. And I'm just gonna add in, look, see all that saltfish? I love saltfish. I love saltfish sauce. And then I'll put the chocho in and let it just let everything just simmer the chocho so crisp and nice. I'm gonna add some um, chili, a little bit of chili pepper. And scotch bonnet, some red pieces, no no seeds, no seeds. And I'm also going to add some green one because the green is flavor and the red is eat, you know. I learned that from my grandmother. So I'm adding some green ones in. These are frozen. Yeah, when I buy them fresh, I just froze them because I'm um, adding a little bit more heat. Oh, what the hell? How do you know all that? I love, <laughs> ah, I love my heat, folks. So, 
bring it back up. And right now I'm just going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper. My hands are wet, so this is why it's not turning. I dry off my hands. Because cracked black pepper is so nice. That's better. And right, I'm just gonna add a little go goyo spices to it, herb and spice. And then, you know, you just let it just simmer down. Yeah? You don't, don't cover it, just let it, um, yeah, you don't want it covered, let it cook to the death, you know? There you go. No cubes, no chicken cubes, and no cubes, that's it. And no muggy chicken noodle in there. Just natural, you know. I'm not knocking anybody who love them again, folks. Oh, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is so nice. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. I put um. Okay. And I put lots of um lemon in it early on so that's it it doesn't need anything else church on saltfish let's see and what i normally do folks i get a little water from my banana pot oh yeah because you know i just drop it in there you know that's iron Ah oh, yes, oh yeah, there you go. Let me see, let's give it a taste. Mm. Folks, it doesn't need a thing. It's good, it is good. checking on the dumplings and banana pot we're coming along maybe another um yeah and folks this is done so I'm just gonna turn the heat off Natural spice. Let's spice it up. Yeah, folks. As this, as Moko say, one of Moko's favorite saying is that the boat is land. The boat just landed. I am just gonna remove it from the eat. Bring back the dumpling pot over here. It's almost done. Okay. You see that bubbling, folks? Oh, into my camera. <laughs> Get that, folks. I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee today. Yeah, I just feel like a cup of coffee. No, um, <laughs> a nice strong cup of coffee with my stuff. I 
So folks, let's see. Wow. They said when dumpling float, they brought the cook. I don't know what I was told when I was going up. And it's there past 15 minutes now. So let me see if the um, potato cook. Yeah, that's what the, the old saying. When the dumpling floats, you know it cook. Let's see. I'm trying to find the potato. Oh, the bananas are all mashed out. Okay, folks, that's it. No, I gotta take it off. Stop from mashing out. All mashed up. Oh. Okay. And like I said, I just want a nice cup of coffee. And I'm plating it for you guys. That's I did a piece of yellow yam, but well, you know yellow yam in this country, you just get very yam. I'm just going to put one down here. My bananas, they get so soft. I should have put them on last. And the potato. So here we go with um, take it off the heat a bit. So this is my version of a soft fish and cho cho. And banana dumpling. And like I said, I love my cho cho on the crunchy side. And, and soft fish. Lots of cho cho folks. That is so good for you. That's a, one of the biggest thing in lower your blood pressure. Christophine, you could um juice it and drink it or just cut it up and um eat it just like that. This Christophine is very good for lowering blood pressure and for diabetes too. Most of the stuff, most of these vegetables work um double, you know, work on high blood pressure and diabetes. Let's see if I get some juice to put on. And my favorite coffee is um well you know there's no more blue mountain there. Everybody's here going to the store, you see all of these labels of Blue Mountain, and when you take it home, it's all fake. So, you know what? There's no more real Blue Mountain coffee unless you go to the street to Jamaica and get it. Well, everybody's just um, living off of us. Yeah, so this is my coffee here. I like to drink my coffee black. So, this is Stacey's choice. Uh, my choice is, um, would be Blue Mountain. But, like I said, there's no real Blue Mountain in the stores here. They're all fake. Fake as hell. 
So folks, um, that is my supper there. Um, salt fish and um, chocho with um, banana dumpling, green banana dumpling, green banana, piece of yellow yam, and uh, sweet potato, right? So, and a um, nice cup of um, coffee black coffee so folks there you go that's it that's my that's my supper there folks okay anyway folks thanks for watching thanks for liking and thanks for sharing and please do subscribe okay thanks a lot and you have a good one peace